Hello students and everyone. Welcome back to class 8 maths on my youtube channel. We will begin chapter 3 indices and cube root on textbook page number 14. Using laws of indices, write proper numbers in the following boxes. Before you begin to write proper numbers in the boxes, you have to use the formulas of laws of indices. First one, 3 raised to 5 into 3 raised to 2. The formulas will be a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. If the base is same, you have to add only the index because the indexes are different. 3 raised to 5 plus 2, the answer is 3 raised to 7. Next, 3 raised to 7 divided by 3 raised to 9 is equal to 3 raised to box. The formula will be a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. In division, if the bases are same and the indexes are different, you have tried the indexes in subtraction form. So, you have to subtract this number now in index 3 raised to 7 divided by 3 raised to 9 that is 3 raised to 7 minus 9. 9 minus 7 is 2 but the greater number sign is negative. So, the answer is negative that is is equal to 3 raised to minus 2. Next, 3 raised to 4 in bracket raised to 5 is equal to 3 raised to box. The formula will be a raised to m in bracket raised to n is equal to a raised to m n. If you have only one base and two different indexes without any sign, you have tried the indexes in multiplication form. That is a raised to m into n is equal to a raised to m n. According to this formula, you have to multiply only the index. Base is given as it is. That is 3 raised to 4 raised to 5 means 3 raised to 4 into 5. Multiply the indexes now. That is, is equal to 3 raised to 20. 4 fives are 20. Next, 5 raised to minus 3 is equal to 1 upon 5 raised to box. The formula will be a raised to minus m is equal to 1 upon a raised to m. If there is a base and a negative index, to make the index positive, you have to take the numerator 1. That is 5 raised to minus 3 is equal to 1 upon 5 raised to 3 according to this formula. Next, 5 raised to 0 is equal to box. The formula is a raised to 0 is equal to 1. That means any number raised to 0 is 1. So, 5 raised to 0 is equal to 1. Next, 5 raised to 1 means 5. If you have the index 1 of any number, then the answer will be same. Next, 5 into 7 in bracket raised to 2 is equal to 5 raised to box into 7 raised to box. In multiplication, in index, you have to fill the proper numbers in the boxes. So, you have to use this formula. A into B in bracket raised to M is equal to A raised to M into B raised to M. According to this formula, the answer will be 5 into 7 in bracket raised to 2 means 5 raised to 2 into 7 raised to 2. Next, 5 upon 7 in bracket raised to 3 is equal to box raised to 3 upon box raised to 3. The formula will be a upon b in bracket raised to m is equal to a raised to m upon b raised to m. According to this formula, you have tried the correct numbers in the boxes. That is 5 upon 7 in bracket raised to 3 means 5 raised to 3 upon 7 raised to 3. Next, 5 upon 7 in bracket raised to minus 3. To make the index positive, According to the laws of indices, the formulas will be a upon b in bracket raised to minus m is equal to 
b upon a in bracket raised to m phi upon 7 in bracket raised to minus 3 is equal to the correct answer is 7 upon phi in bracket raised to 3 to make the index positive you have to write the multiplicative inverse of phi upon 7 and after writing the multiplicative inverse of phi upon 7 the index will be positive that is 7 upon 5 raised to 3 if you understood class 8 maths chapter 3 indices and cube root sums on textbook page number 14 give us the feedback or comments subscribe the channel like and share thank you